Hello, my name is Paul Boag, and I do a huge amount of work in the field of conversion optimization for websites. And one of the tools that I use the most, surprisingly, is a free tool called Microsoft Clarity. Now, you might have heard of Microsoft Clarity, but never tried it. And so I want to tell you why it is my go-to tool for conversion rate optimization. You see, when we're working on conversion rate optimization, we've got to combine uh, quantitative data with qualitative research as well. And the two need to sit together. And traditionally, you've kind of been a little bit torn in that area. You've got tools like Google Analytics, which is great for giving you detailed insights. But you've also got tools like Hotjar that you use for session recordings and things like that, which is more qualitative data. But it can be really quite hard to struggle with all of this data. And it's a lot harder than it really should be. And there are kind of three problems I used to encounter when it came to this kind of work and probably problems that you've experienced yourself. First of all, it can be overwhelming. Tools like Google Analytics, especially GA4, is a really dense, difficult tool to wrap your head around. It's incredibly powerful, but it's quite hard work to get into it and to get using it. So that's a big battle that I know a lot of people have struggled with, especially now that Google Analytics is updated. Secondly, it can be quite hard to set up. So when you use things like Google Analytics, what you're having to do is you're having to go in and set event trackers to track the specific things that you want. And if you don't think in advance, you end up adding an event tracker later and missing out on all that historical data that you could have got at. And finally, you're juggling multiple apps. You're using Google Analytics for your more dense analytics stuff, and then you're having to swap across to something like Hotjar if you want insights like session recording, heat maps, that kind of thing. But fortunately, these days, there is a much better tool that kind of combines the best of both. It doesn't do everything that both does, but it certainly combines the essence of both. And that is Microsoft Clarity. And it addresses all three of those problems and it does so completely free of charge, which is always a good thing. It would be nice, would it not, to get rid of that Hotjar account if you could. So what I love about Microsoft Clarity is that it focuses on the right insights. So rather than overwhelming you with you can have whatever data you want, instead it zones in on the things that make the biggest impact to conversion right? So it provides insights like rage clicks, where people are repeatedly trying to click something and getting frustrated when it's not doing what they expected. Dead clicks, where people are clicking on something that isn't clickable. Excessive scrolling, where people are going up and down the page trying to find a piece of information they want. And then quick backs, where people are going to a page going, no, that wasn't what I expected or what I wanted and going back. So it really hones in on the problem points on your website. And also, unlike something like Google Analytics, which needs a deep technical knowledge to understand it, with Microsoft Clarity, it's got Copilot, its AI assistant, baked into it, and you can really ask whatever you want about your data. So as you can see from this screenshot, I've asked what are the most common user actions people take before leaving the site, and notice that number one, people are clicking on a text marked null. So that is obviously a big problem that's going on there. And I can dive in and diagnose that problem much easier. So you can have this kind of natural conversation to get you where you need to be. Also, the setup is super easy. Obviously, you add your bit of JavaScript to your website like you do with all of these tools, but there's no need to set up event trackers. And that's because Clarity tracks every interaction everything within what's called the DOM, the document object model. So it can give you historical data on new events that you've set up. So suddenly, let's say you suddenly decide you want to track what's happening with a particular button or what flow people go through the site or whatever specific piece of information you want. You're not just tracking that going forward into the future. You've got all that data from the past as well. 
And then the other thing that I really love is it brings everything together. You get your insights, you get your recordings, you get your heat maps and your analytics all together in a single application that makes things so much more straightforward and so much easier to use. And this makes it ideal for improving conversion on your website. So just to give you a quick glimpse of how I go about doing that, First of all, I will identify the biggest problem on the site. So I'll look at the insights that Microsoft Clarity provide me, maybe ask some questions of the AI, and I'll identify whether it's the people clicking on a particular button that they're struggling with, or whether it's a particular page where people are quick backing. So they're going, looking at it and go, no, that's not right, and leaving it. So I kind of narrow down the problem, and I take one problem at a time. I start with the biggest problem on the website. And once I've identified the problem, then I start to try and dig into that and understand what's going on. And heat maps can be really valuable to see where people are clicking, how far they're scrolling, what they're doing on the page. But also I'll watch back session recordings of people doing that action that's causing the problem. So I can see exactly what's causing it. And that allows me to form a hypothesis about what the problem is and how I can go about fixing it. Now, I might test how I fix that problem using A-B testing or doing some usability testing. But once I then push it live, what I can do is monitor the solution that I came up with so that I can ensure it's outperforming the previous version. And I can do that by comparing it myself to historical data. And I've got all of that data available so I can see what's happening after I've made the improvement and what's happening before I made the improvement. Now, I'm not claiming that this app is going to completely replace Google Analytics for everything, right? It doesn't provide some of those advanced features of Google Analytics. But if you're not a kind of complete Google Analytics geek and you really are into all of these kinds of functionality and funnels and, and events and all of that kind of stuff, and if you aren't very comfortable and familiar in Google Analytics, then Microsoft Clarity offers a great alternative. Equally, it doesn't replace everything that Hotjar does. It doesn't do surveys. It doesn't allow you to run user interviews or user testing. But really, if I'm honest with you, there are much better tools out there than Hotjar for all of those individual things. And unless you're being forced to kind of buy one tool that does it all, maybe Hotjar isn't the best solution in your particular situation. My advice is basically to try it and see. You've got nothing to lose. It's absolutely free and they've bent over backwards to ensure that it has a minimal impact on the performance of your website. So really, there's no reason not to give it a go.